what is going on my lions welcome it is monday i'm excited to share one of my secrets with you guys that is my product research techniques and how i find profitable products so if you're struggling with product research and if you really want to find a profitable product guys i want to share my secrets like i mean what kind of mentor would i be if I don't share those things with you guys because those are my best practices right so if you're struggling if you want to find a really really profitable product and you want to use my techniques this is the video for you guys now I know I've made uh, some videos before on other product research techniques that I use but this is one of my favorites actually because I start with best sellers I start with um, right off the bat I want to know what are the most profitable products in the world that I can use to my benefit and sell it on Amazon now guys don't worry about copying other sellers because this is not an exam this is not uh, your you know business is business it doesn't matter what product you're selling as long as you're not going after trademark and patent products because those things you can get sued on but if don't worry about you know like if you're looking on Amazon and you're wondering hey um, I see a lot of people selling this product like I have no chance there right I'm telling you guys you just gotta find where the market is where there is an in and then just right get into it so that's what we're gonna do today I'm gonna show you guys how I take a look at the market some of the techniques that I use to find the profitable products and what things I consider when I'm getting into the market and basically knowing knowing that it is going to be profitable that's where the due diligence happens guys like you will really really help your business if you start this process right away uh, and look at it from every angle right just like any business look at it from different angles and see if it is going to be profitable for you guys all right so without further ado let's get right into it now what i do is i start with google i start with google meaning that um I just go to Google and I type in Amazon bestsellers simple right that's how I start with best-selling products and I go to this link uh, you can go to the first one but like this one so what this does is right off the bat Amazon itself it's a big search engine guys it shows you it really shows you what are their top um, okay just stay on amazon.com all right so I wanted to do this for the US side but you can do it for Canadian side so it shows you what are the top 100 selling best-selling products right now that's what I'm telling you guys right now and it, I know the list updates every hour but the, the, the products that are in the top 10 or top 20 always stay within that top 100 so you are good to go so one of the areas that I really really want to caution you guys is to not sell electronics Electronics is a very high return rate and I'm telling you guys this is gonna heat up a lot of your profits when you're doing returns because as you guys know Amazon is a little bit ruthless when it comes to returns and you are paying for everything right so uh, the cost is coming out from you but Amazon is taking the name that's saying oh uh, we have a per great return policy it's amazing for buyers right because there is no absolutely no risk involved on their part right but there's a lot of risk on your part so that's why I avoid electronics because a lot of the stuff that's made in China they tend to have defects and it's not perfect so that's why I tend to avoid electronics one of my favorite categories and I'm gonna show you guys one of the products that I sold from here recently which was only six months ago so I go to the toys category this is my favorite category and I know this product can be very good for kids I mean this category and um, it can be an all-year-round thing right so I will show you guys one of the products that I sold and at that time it was number two on the list so it was this one lol surprise hair gels or sorry hair goes makeover series which is basically uh, like just a makeover kit that's what it is so that's what I sold and uh, at that time I was selling this for $17.99 and it was selling like hotcakes guys so um, I've had experience let me see if my other products are in here or not let's see let's see let's see okay not there not there not there oh there it is guys that's another one that I had sold 
this little dog that has numbers on it basically plays music and all that. So it's a pit bull singing puppy. So that was that's listed at twelve ninety seven. At that time, I was selling it for fourteen dollars. My manufacturing cost was really low, but then again, I didn't make a lot of profit on it because of the cost. Uh, how much it costs to do the Amazon FBA fees that goes into it, the inventory, your shipping to bring the product, but my manufacturing cost was relatively low for me to justify that. So I still made like about $5 per unit in profit, but then again, guys, I want you guys to make 50% or more because that's where the money is at. Now, I sold a lot of these and this was, this was an amazing product. So let's take a look at some of the items here that we can potentially sell. But we're going to do a deeper dive and we're going to do a deeper search to make sure it's actually profitable. And we look at the stats of our competitors to see what they are doing with this. Okay. And we want to see if the market is actually penetrable. If there are too many sellers with like crazy amount of reviews and they're doing amazing sales, right? It's a little bit harder to tap into that market. But let's take a look at an item. Like normally I tell you guys, I want something that's close to $20 or above. Um, that's where my, um, that's where that's the kind of product I want to sell so let's take a look so this one is the slide is not bad okay 23.99 oh this one this one is one of my favorite items guys like I bought this from Amazon for my kid and it is amazing so 1490 uh, it is a little bit lower than I would have expected like I mean in Canada these things are going for 25 to 30 dollars so Amazon is selling it a lot cheaper I don't know if I want to, although I love the product. Okay, this is, oh, let's take a look at this. Because it's summer now, so this is a perfect seasonal product if you guys are getting into seasonal products. So, just for the sake of simplicity, let me see if I can do this one. Okay, Red Red Church, uh, Sport Lounge. Not too crazy about that. Okay, I may just go for that swimming pool, but let's see. Oh! Yes, yes. As you guys know, in Canada, the Toronto Raptors won the NBA championships in 2019. So basketball has been insanely crazy popular here. So that is my first, first um, indication that this product might be really good. So you guys have to look beyond what is in Amazon. You guys have to look the economical right uh, influences, the political influences, what is happening in the market. All these things you got to be able to you know like keep up with the news just like stocks guys like you're doing research all over because you want to know what is gonna happen you want to be able to anticipate your moves just like a chess game guys this is a chess game so um, that's what we want to do so I know basketball is crazy popular so I know that, that I can sell this product in Canada so let's take a look at it okay so we'll click on the product. It's selling at a really good price, $34.99. If I can go $32.99, like I can grab a little bit of market share. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, now that we have this, let's run Jungle Scout against it right here, guys. I have the Chrome extension. Again, I have 20% off. Uh, link is in the description below, so click on that and you'll get your 20% off on this product. The extension is amazing. It's a one-time fee of 97 so um, that's a good one, but the monthly subscription, that's where you guys get the 20% off, so you can do all kinds of searches on there, okay? So the average pricing I see is about $31.26, um, so let's just make sure that this is from, not from just the seller. Little Tykes LeBron James family fan, okay. What is this product? Power Deluxe Golf Bag, okay. So these are the items that this seller is selling. So we're not gonna look at that, but now what I wanted to show you guys with this is that Jungle Scout is really powerful, especially the Chrome extension, because it tells you the average monthly sales is 794 units, right? At least the products in this category are selling. Average sales ranking, you got the average price is about $31.26. Average reviews is about $4.40. So this tells me that whatever market the seller is in, it's a little bit competitive. You guys see that the reviews for some of these things are $2,115, $400, like $165 I can live with. The rest of it I can complete. But $2,100 and $400 is a bit too high for me. So I'm just going to cross that. Let's take a look at if we can find let's say easy score basketball set we're gonna copy that general phrase let's enter it on Amazon okay 
let's see what comes up all right exciting okay so we got a few options right we know that um Kelal Tax Easy Basketball 34. There's another one. Um, there are other types that you can get for 49 and all that. So, okay, this is the market we want to take a look at. So, let's run Jungle Scout against it. So, you always want to run on the main page because that's where your top competitors are. Okay. So, let's take a look quickly. Let the numbers load up. Again, guys, if you have missed my videos on Jungle Scout specifically, let me quickly go over it. The, with you guys so you got the product name what category the sales is going what is the price of the product so this is a snapshot of your competitors guys monthly sales how many units each seller is selling in that category what are the daily sales this category what revenues they're generating guys so what we're looking for for a low review high revenue look at this guys this guy has four four reviews and it's doing almost five thousand dollars in revenue or in sales how crazy is that he's selling it for 49 dollars a pop selling three a day 90 a month which is perfect his price range part of the reason he's making a lot of money is because his price is also a little bit higher so we know that the price we want to be at is around 30 31 dollars so 110 reviews guys look at this guy this guy's pulling 49 grand let's see what it looks like this is the this is the basketball price is perfect thirty five dollars hundred and ten reviews guys forty nine thousand dollars this guy's pulling and that's a month guys <laughs> that is not an annual number and it's an Amazon seller okay this one is FBA sixty eight reviews about nine k not bad okay that's really good um, fifty five reviews about nine thousand six hundred dollars okay. 101 reviews you got 4,000 you get a little bit 41 reviews 7,000 so we know that the top two sellers that we're competing with are these two this is with 2,000 reviews and they're doing hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars in revenue and this one is 264 which is doing 54,000 you see like how once you get to hundreds of reviews you are making a lot of unit sales this market is ripe for picking look at this guys these guys are all new look at it the number of reviews they have this guy has one review and he's still doing two thousand dollars a month that is insane he's selling two items at two units a day at thirty four dollars and twenty nine cents so this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about guys like you know that this market is right there open there are a lot of sellers but not a lot of, there's not a lot of tough competition only the top two are tough competition but if you play your cards right do your listing properly um price your product properly have a quality product provide some sort of discounts and provide additional value like an accessory that goes with that uh basketball basketball uh, basketball net and all that um it's gonna be gold it's gonna be gold you're gonna be on page one in no time so this is my one of my favorite techniques that I use when I'm looking at products but again guys I want to remind you guys that it goes deeper than just jungle scout and just Amazon you have to understand what's happening in the world in the market you're selling at in right so you gotta understand like especially in the US you gotta understand the tariffs that Trump is putting on right on the imports from China you gotta understand if your product falls into those categories that has a 25% tariff you gotta know that to avoid those products so that's why research is key guys like look beyond look beyond what I'm showing you guys here with Amazon and Jungle Scout search the news that's your first point know where opportunities can be and then get into your research with amazon at the top hundred and then also take a look at jungle scout the chrome extension which is your final uh way to confirm that yes this is a beautiful market to get into and to make a lot of money in so guys i hope you enjoyed the video i know i'm throwing a lot of content at you guys so let me know if there is anything else you want to know or if you have trouble with drop a comment below hit like if you like this video and i'll be happy to answer your questions and yeah so that's it i'm gonna see you guys on wednesday with yet another technique of mine which is gonna blow your mind away so until then have a very wonderful day and i'm gonna see you guys then bye